bag of vintage Thundercats. Bucky O'Hare, Ghostbusters, a bit of Captain Planet, and a whopping load of biker mice from Mars. These type of marketplace pickups are few and far between. Like, when was the last time you actually had a decent marketplace pickup? For me, it's been months, like actual months. But for this particular one, I had two bites of the cherry. That big bundle of toys was listed up in the morning for a tenner. A tenner! Obviously, the woman's phone must have just been melting. She would have had so many messages about that. But true to her word, right, she held out for the first person that messaged. I'm sure she had tons of offers that were higher as well, but she let it go for a tenner. The bloke picked him up at seven o'clock. And the reason I know this is because that evening, a single Thundercat toy hit Marketplace. Now look, vintage toys like that never hit Marketplace around me. So to have a big bundle in the morning and then an individual listing that evening, I knew something was going on. So I messaged the guy, said, look, great Thundercat. Do you have any more? He sent me the pictures of the ones that he'd picked up earlier. I went around, picked them up for 90 quid. And what attracted me to this big bundle was the Thundercats. And at 90 quid, I think it's still a pretty good deal. Now I have been building up a Thundercat collection recently, so I do have most of these, but there are a couple in there that I do need and a couple of big hitters too. Mongor and Jagger, they're good ones to look out for. Tigra, I needed him for the collection. And there's a couple of weapons down here too. I used to love Bucky O'Hare back in the day. I had tons of the toys, watched the cartoon. I do have a Bucky O'Hare already, but I don't have any of these other figures. I can see that becoming the start of a collection. Ghostbuster toys I've never really been into, but I know a guy who is, so I'll message him to see if he needs any of these. If not, I'll be researching them and sticking them on eBay. I'll tell you what, Captain Planet is a throwback as well. I used to watch this a lot. I don't think there's much value with those, so those will probably be bundled up. And Biker Mice from Mars is something that I was never really into. Just passed me by a little bit. But I got three bikes in there, three of the Biker Mice, all the original Galoob ones, and a couple of the Fringe characters as well. A lovely little Facebook Marketplace bundle, and exactly the type of thing I love looking out for. Things that you can sell for individually, if the price is right, or bundle up if not. My aim for these will be to sell off the bits I don't want to try and cover the cost of the things I want to keep. It's a good way to keep my collection topped up for free. And when I do come to sell, that's where my profit will be. Just finished setting them up there. The best thing with that type of thing is I'm in no rush to list them. It's the type of thing you can just keep drip feeding through. They're not seasonal. The prices don't fluctuate too much. It's always nice to have something in the background to just keep ticking over. But I can do all that in the evenings. Got to make the most of the source and opportunities while they're out there. Let's hit the charity shops. Now this is an absolute throwback. My nan used to do something like this, she had this old metal bin and would wrap it in like this brown and beige dog teddy thing. I mean this isn't the actual one, but it is proper retro and only 50p. That is a core memory unlock right there. A pair of Skechers slippings up here. Bungee laces on the front, size seven and a half, all black. Condition is pretty decent. Yes, they are £7.50 but they're guaranteed good sellers and they should shift pretty quick too. <laughs> Nearly tripped over that on the floor. Micro Electrix Pro Rally. Looking at solar sins, there aren't too many, but when they do, they can reach 20 plus post, something like that. Tenner. After fees, something like that. You might be making five, six quid off it. Not really worth it considering how long it'll take to shift. Quite like the look of this Adidas jacket here. 15 quid, not worth picking up to sell. But with the Euros on, it does look a bit like a football training top, doesn't it? I'd love to find a football shirt out here today. I saw the Denmark one, actually. 20 plus posts, something like that. Oh, football stuff is definitely being pumped by the Euros. Time to activate Trackmaster of Pieces mode. Not found a load of Thomas the Tank for ages. Now this is all the Ertl stuff. Some of them are metal, some of it's plastic. Let's see what's in here. Donald and Douglas, always a good parent to look out for. The condition isn't the best look. They're all really chipped. That'll obviously hamper the price. But they should go for a 10 plus post. This one here, this one's called Derek. Condition looks a bit better. Oh no, hang on, one of the buffers on the front has snapped. Good condition, it's a tenner. Like there are so many different trains here. You could almost do like Thomas, Percy, Bill and Ben. Go on, let's get them. These others though, the condition is really putting me off of them. If I could get them all as one big job lot and then sell them all out as one big job lot, that might be worthwhile. 
no faffing about. Tenner for the lot. Deal. This is a beaut little JCB here. Yes, it's plasticky. But look at the detailing on it. It's by Bruder. Class brand to look out for, that is. You can imagine kids playing with that in the garden or the sand pit. But it's got the front bucket. It's got the back bucket. Sold on this tractor. About 35 quid. And they only want four. Might take a bit of time to sell, but unlike the other ones, the profit is worth the wait. An absolute classic jelly cat book in the window there. It's pretty interesting up here. Purple 20 questions game by Radica. £3.50 on the back. It does have batteries in, but it's not turning on. Oh yeah, isn't it? Sold on that, about 12 quid. So £3.50. Would you factor in postage and fees? Maybe a fiver in it. 50p DVDs in here. Not much, but it's a little bit of CEX credit. Outcast season one, trades in for two pound voucher. Looks like Barcelona shorts down there. Yep, stitched in logo. Swoosh down there. Size XL, three quid. Got the drawstring, although I'll have to thread that one back through. Decent condition too. Teddy's one pound. And in here, look. It's a Merry Thought Lion. Merry Thought brand I always look out for. The last lion I had, it was massive. Had the tag on and it took forever to sell. Went for just over 20. This one's a bit smaller, no tag. For a pound, it's worth getting in it. A couple of really nice hoodies up here. Look at the colour on that van's one. The thing is, it's a small size, excess, and it's seven quid. Gonna be a hard shift, that one. If that was my size, I'd pick that up. But I will give this one a go. Big Patagonia logo on the front. Extra small, seven quid. But I think the brand would carry that. Solds for extra small Patagonia are all over the shop. But I think with that logo on the front, they seem to be a bit more popular. We'll give it a crack anyway. Who's this tucked to the back here? There's the jelly cat tag. Now usually these are all priced up individually, but no price tag on that. So I guess it's just in the three for a pound. Do you ever find right that sometimes you'll find a unique item that you know is worth a bit of money, but you just put it to the side and you just don't list it? It just takes a bit of effort to research it, and then when you do research it, you can't find the exact thing. So I get this all the time. I'm always worried that I'm going to underprice it. I have done exactly that with this. And inevitably, I've underpriced it. This is a signed Cardiff City football. I don't know what year it's from. I don't know who any of the players are. I don't have a certificate of authenticity. But I picked this up at a boot sale last summer for a fiver. That's all it was. And it has just been sat on the table down there because I haven't done the research into it. And there are three signed Cardiff City footballs up on eBay for about 150 quid to 200 quid, something like that. What I do know, this isn't a Premier League ball, this is a championship squad. I was going to price it high, I was going to match the others, but without that authentication certificate, it's not going to compete with the others. I stuck that out for 30 quid, which sounds really, really cheap now I'm talking to you about it. And I actually took an offer to sell it for 25 quid, which sounds really, really cheap. And it sold within a couple of days. But then again, you've got to remember, it only cost a fiver in the first place. This one didn't need much research at all. Airfix Golf Porsche 917. The box is open, but everything inside is brand new. I paid 50p at the boot sale. Going rate for this, about 30 quid. Offer come in for 25, I accepted. This is quite cool, a Super Mario 3DS case. Got a nice Super Mario keyring up there. That one went for a tenner. In fact, a couple of these went for a tenner now. The Shoe People Complete Series DVD. This Match Attacks Trading Card Storage Box. And then four Pikachu cards from the Celebration set. I paid up for this Everton shirt in the charity shop. I paid eight quid for it. It would be all right if it didn't have no, no number eight on the back. Size large on the label. All the printing looks pretty good. Prem badges on the sleeve. That one there, that's sold for 18. I had this one returned. Scotty Cameron putter head cover. The guy basically returned it because it didn't fit his putter. Well, can't do much about that. No drama whatsoever. Sent it back in the post. Stuck it straight back on eBay. Sold full price, 45 pounds.
I'm happy with this sale. This is a pair of construction Nike Air Force ones. That Nike tick there, that's made out of like a reflective material. I picked these up at the boot sale last summer for a fiver. But the best thing about these is I've had a whole winter's use out of them. They are at the point now where I do need to sell them. If I keep them and wear them any longer, they will just be too far gone. Stuck and bulk on eBay, it's taken about a month to sell. They've gone for about 20 quid all in. Practical and profitable. And shout out Joanna. Saw that I picked this up in my last charity shop hunt. Jumped on my store, had to pick it up. We met actually at the reseller summit too. Absolute legend. Joanna, thanks ever so much for supporting the channel. Perfect time to be buying it as well with a new Minion film on the way. Could be a bit of profit in that for you too. A real bang average painted Lord of the Rings Warhammer Saruman. Went for eight quid. Happy with this. For the mid 90s, I've got this size XL Cotton Traders England Rugby Polo. Did not know how to price this whatsoever. The other Cotton Traders polos like this with sound on the front tend to have longer sleeves. They're listed up for about 100 quid. They don't sell for that looking at the sold listings. I stuck this up for 60. I've had a few offers over the 40 quid mark. I paid eight pounds for this. Offer come in 50 quid, accepted it. Silent Hill 2. I got this right by picking up all those cheapy games in the charity shops and boot sales, taking them to CEX for credit. It's in reasonable condition, bit of sun fading around the top there, you can see that from the PlayStation logos, bit of whitening all around the cardboard sleeve, does have the manual in it though. This is a classic example of changing vouchers to cash, that one there sold for 60 quid all in. Just found Snarf kicking about inside, must have fallen out the bag. Guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like, hit that subscribe, catch up with you in the next one.